particularly with perspective. Put an Oakley, Tom, Tom, Tom. Put Hold an Oakley on, 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 handcuffed to the five, that, five, That's five, another thing that six, Kevin Durant, we talk about people not wanting to come to New York. Yeah, that's what he did not mention that. He did not mention Oak. He did not mention Oakley. That was more detrimental, detrimental to anything. But seeing the heart and soul mm-hmm. of the Knicks right. let out of the world's most famous arena. That, I, got I got it. I got it. So, now, so, hold on, hold on. so now I'm getting to you. Because you sitting up here today. Oh, what you're doing is you reminding us of Oakley. You talking about what happened to you, and you a diehard Knicks fan. You going back there next year? You sitting up here today? It doesn't make the Knicks look very good right now. Are you concerned, or do you think you should be concerned about the effect that this this could have on a potential free agent's willingness to come to the New York Knicks in light of damn, what you're highlighting? Damn, damage. No one's. You can't. Look, the guys will see me when they come. <laughs> like I'll see Spike when I come to the Garden, but I ain't playing for the Knicks, so. Well, you know, I just like to say, I know that this whole thing, thank you for having me. And I was, I'm going to say again, I was not going to say anything. I went home from the garden, the World's Fan Arena, in the cab saying, I'm not saying nothing. And then when I read that lie, that spin that they put out, I called you. I'm at the game. Charles Oakley hit me up because on Twitter, Reggie Mill hit me up. I was trending on Twitter before the game was even over. I didn't even know about it, and then you called me. Yeah, thank you for having me. Well, it's smart it's PR for the Knicks. By the way, they want a new, a new. Hey, give the new regime a chance. They win a game at home, and the headline's going to be after Charles Oakley let off in handcuffs. They have beef with Spike Lee on that day. A million of that, dollars on to watch this on game the over day the that Leon Rose is named the yep. president Shrewd. of basketball operations. He didn't even get a press conference. And he didn't even get a press conference. Shrewd. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more. Sp- Luke chapter 16, verse 19. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked the sores. I want to give infinite honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakotash. I want to give double honors to our teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone, who were the double honors. A salutation to my fellow laborers and Yahweh Shah, pushing the true cross to four winds with all fear and trembling in these last days, seconds, and times. And peace and blessings to the elect of Yasharala. All right, this, um, I bought this clip up because it infuriated me. It just, it, it, when you look at it from, just looking at the clip, you just say, all right, these are sports fanatics, you know, simpleton, so on and so forth. But I looked at it from a spiritual perspective. This nigga Spike Lee is mad because they didn't let him come to the big house through the front door. All right. He's mad because Massa didn't, like, didn't let him come to the game through the front door. All right. And um, he want to be. Fed with Massa's crumb. He want to be acknowledged by Massa. All right? That's that's why the Most High sent the prophets out, man. That's not the mindset to be in, man. He's supposed to want to rule over the guys that's not letting him in, come through the front door. He's supposed to own the arena. He's supposed to own the front door. Okay? He's supposed to have those people that he's mad won't let him come in the stadium through the front door. All right. He's supposed to be in the mindset that he wants the dominion and he wants his people to be at the totem pole and them people griping about him not letting them in the front door. All right. And this is what slavery has done to us, man. All right. Um, Spike Lee is a, a multi-millionaire. Millionaire. I mean, he's a millionaire several times over. All right, a well-nourished slave, all right? But he's content with being at the bottom of the totem pole. With all that money he have, he's still griping that he can't get a fair shake. He can't come through the front door, no matter how rich you are, man. And you see, and that's the difference. That's what separates the prophets of Yahweh Bashim Shai from the rest of the inhabitants, the rest of our nation, the rest of the, the rest of our race, man. We want to rule. We want the dominion, man. Okay? 
We want to enforce the laws of Yahweh by Shema Rashad. We want to be the movers and shakers, man. Okay? And that and, and the only thing good for people like that is death. Because death, when you when you get put out of your misery, that's a miserable feeling to uh that's a miserable thing to look at your people and their in their mind state, man. All right. You got servants on horses around this bitch. And and princes on feet and the prince content. All right. The only thing that can help Spike Lee is is um getting put in the spirit realm. Then he'll get his 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 righteous mind back. This is Jeremiah 2 and 14. Israel is Israel a servant? Is a homeborn slave? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? You're looking at a spoiled man, man. All right? And that's the condition of the vast majority of our people. They're spoiled, man. They're spoiled. You're not in your righteous mind when you're complaining that master won't let you in the front door. I don't even want to go in that bitch, man. Okay? The world was made for our sakes, man. All right? The world was made for us to rule, man. This is uh second Ezra's. I ain't trying to do that. This is second Ezra six uh, fifty seven, and it reads. Uh, I'm gonna start at fifty nine. So like it. if the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? You see what I'm saying? The world is made for our sakes. These other races were created. To be ruled by us, to be put in submission, a, pos a, a position of servitude by us. All right. The Most High made us to be the head and not the tail, man. It's depressing to look at, at, at a prince of the power with gripe because the, the, uh, the basis of men won't let him in his game. Okay. This is uh this is this is Leviticus 25 and 43. Thou shalt not rule over him with rigor, rigor, but shall feel thy power. We're not supposed to rule over our brothers with rigor, a fellow Israelite. All right. You're supposed to treat a brother, honor all Israelites, according to on uh, the book of uh Peter. All right, honor all men. All right, and that's talking about Israelites. But both thy bondmen and thy bondmaids, but guess what? Thou slaves, which thou shall have, shall be the of, of the heathen that are round about you. See, that's the mindset you're supposed to be in, man. You're supposed to condition your mind to be a ruler. All right? Rulers have slaves, man. Rulers have servants, okay? Of them you shall buy bondmen and bondmaids. You shouldn't be going to the bondmaid and 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 um bond men asking them for a crumb off their table, man. Because at the end of the day, although Spike Lee has millions of bucks, that's a crumb compared to the wealth of the world that these elites have, man. That's don't, that that's equivalent for you to have a few million dollars is the equivalent of having the crumbs. Don't the, those elites can make him uh be in the projects overnight, man. They could bankrupt him overnight. They can take his wealth overnight. So they're basically crumbs, man. Okay? They could blackball him and dry up his bank accounts and, and just and just fuck over him overnight. All right? But thank you, how about Shemal Shah for raising up the elders of Great Millstone to feed us with knowledge and wisdom, man. So we could get in this spirit right here, man. This is a uh, judges. 5 and 11, man. All right. They that are de delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water. I write the noises of archers it's here in America. Well, those missiles are going to get fired off. Fired off. We're going to be delivered for them. Lord willing, we're in that number. In the places of drawing water, man, we hear slaves. Drawing water means slaves. We are drawers of water and hewers of wood, man. We built this place. And we still at the bottom of the towing pole. All right, so we're supposed to be getting de delivered from uh, trying to go in, ma in the big house with Master. All right, and when these missiles descend, you're supposed to be in the miss in, in the mindset of getting delivered out of here. There you sh there 
Salakia. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh. All right, the righteous acts of Yahweh is for us to be a nation of kings and priests. He said, I will make you a royal priesthood, man. Priests are in positions of authority. All right, priests had to judge the nation, teach the nation, rule over the nation, man. He said, I'll make you a nation of kings and priests. Those are the righteous acts, man. You're supposed to be rehearsing the how to be a ruler in the kingdom to come. And when you're mad because Master won't let you in the front door, a Master won't give you a crumb, man, you're not in your right mind. And the only thing that will put you in your right mind is for you to um um go in the spirit realm. And the only way you go in the spirit realm is through death, man. Even the righteous racks toward the inhabitants of his villages in Yasharala. All right? You're supposed to be gathering the flock and teaching the flock uh, that we're going to be, we're going to take the kingdom and rule the kingdom forever and ever. That's the good news. That's the gospel. The good news is that our enemies are going to be in a position of servitude and we're going to be ruling over our enemies. All right? This is the good news right here. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 2. And, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land for servants and handmaids. All right. Let's see the people we're going to possess for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. You see, Spike Lee is not in that mindset. He's griping about uh, one of those owners or presidents uh, of the Knicks. All right. He's griping that he won't let him get a crumb off of his table when when he's supposed to be in the mindset of the men of Great Millstone, the men that have sound doctrine, of taking those and making that guy that's pissing him off his captive, marking that guy. If he was in his right mind, he'll be marking that guy and say, look, I, I mark you to be in my cotton field in the kingdom of heaven. The most high will grant you that request, man. This is what he's supposed to be doing. And they shall take them captives who captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. All right? What is scripture? Uh, what is scripture? Uh, mark them that cause division. Bear with me, Yashua. What did I know as a Thessalonians? Or is it in or is it in Romans? Let me see. I haven't bought that passage out in a long time. Oh. That's not it. Mark them. Bow with me, I should write a you. I'm looking for that passage, Mark them, which called division. Man, you mark that nigga for your fucking uh, for your for your for your cotton field, man. All right, that's what that's how you deal with guys like that, man. Where is Romans? Romans sixteen and seventeen. Now I beseech you, brother, mark them which called the fishes divisions and officials contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid them all right you're supposed to be marking that guy all right he's contrary to the to your how about shima shai's will all right he's going to be a heathen in the he's going to be a uh serve a slave in the kingdom to come and you actually how about shima shai to put him in your hand all right that's how you learn how to be a ruler man that's that's the mindset we're supposed to be in we're not supposed to be griping and beckoning because uh, Esau won't let us come eat at his table, man. That's when you're destroyed, man. That's when you're a goddamn fool. All right? How long will these simpletons love simplicity? The Most High is going to get rid of all of the simple people of our nation. This is Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. All right? That's a foolish man, man. You don't gripe about somebody you have authority over. All right. That's why you got to be spiritual in this physical realm. They have the dominion right now, but through the spirit and prophecy, we're going to have the last laugh. All right. They have not known me. They are sightish children. Sightish mean retarded. Remedial. 
All right? And they have no none understanding. All right? It's evident Spike Lee don't have any understanding. All right? He has no light in him. All right? He's been deceived, beguiled through philosophy. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Man, this dude don't have the knowledge of Yahweh Hashem al All right? He'll be putting curses on that guy if he had the knowledge of Yahweh Hashem al all right, he'll be putting curses on that guy and his family. And that's the, the most high to give that guy into his hand in the kingdom of heaven. Him and his family. That's what I would do. If somebody, if a heathen hit, pissed me off that bad, I have a list of heathens that I'm asking the most high to put in my hand in the kingdom to come. So I can rule over them with great rigor. All right, and did, do to them as they did to me to the second power, man. According to Revelation, the 13th chapter, man. That's the way you, you got to learn how to get in that rulership mentality, mindset, man. For real. It, it's just depressing. Just, just, we tired of this shit, man. I'm ready to get the fuck up out of here. Shalom, Yashirala.